The colour palette of autumn has always fascinated me. And I think it's because I grew up by the beach in Australia, where the climate doesn't really change throughout the year too much. Even winter is relatively warm, hovering around 20 degrees. So we don't get that change in foliage colour. It's usually green, a little bit greener, or just a little bit greener. Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle Burns. I'm a travel and landscape photographer and Owen System Ambassador. When I first saw autumn foliage in Japan, it just blew me away. The vibrant reds, oranges and yellows. I always make it a priority now when I'm photographing landscapes around the world to try and visit in autumn because the colour palette is just so inspiring to me and I feel like it, it brings a bit more of an artistic element to it with the colourful landscape available to work with. If you're venturing outdoors to photograph this autumn season, I want to share three tips with you in this video mainly focused on exploring composition and creative techniques and tools available within the OM system cameras. To start with, let's chat about gear. When packing my bag to head out on a hike during autumn, I'll have with me the OM1 Mark II and usually three lenses. Um, so to start with, I have the 40 to 150 mm 2.8 Pro lens. This is usually on my camera at all times when I'm photographing not only autumn, but landscapes in general. Um, I just love the ability that this lens provides me to zoom through the trees, the branches, the textures and everything and just really layer things upon each other. And I've also been adding the MC uh, 22 times teleconverter to this, which just provides that additional reach, particularly if you're photographing wildlife um, through the trees, the birdies, it's just amazing. I also take with me the 7 to 14mm 2.8 Pro lens. This is great for wide angle landscapes if you're somewhere really, really scenic and vast. I just love to capture a few different perspectives there and use those different focal lengths to just head home with a whole collection of images. Um, and in between those two, I have the 12 to 40mm 2.8 Pro lens as well. I find that to be a really versatile lens for both travel and landscape photography. And that's usually always in my bag, particularly if I'm heading around in a city, photographing in city parks and things like that. It's just a great lens to have in your handbag if you don't want to lug around a whole camera bag. If the conditions are relatively still, I recommend using the high resolution mode when photographing autumn leaves because it allows you to take 50 megapixel files completely handheld and 80 megapixels if you're using a tripod. You can easily turn this on by pressing the record button on your camera or via the menu. Using the high resolution mode provides more quality within each file, meaning more of those gorgeous autumn textures and patterns to work with when editing or printing your image. Earlier this year, I was photographing the autumn landscapes in Patagonia, and while hiking to Mirador Bastila Torres, which I have to say was the hardest hike of my life, I stopped many times to catch my breath and photograph the autumn foliage draping over the waterfalls. If you enjoy capturing long exposures, I suggest experimenting with the live ND mode, available when shooting in manual. You can seek out creeks, puddles, waterfalls, and have some fun incorporating movement and the autumn colours within your frame, just like I was doing on this hike. In terms of the best setting to use for this, I always suggest assessing this, the conditions first and decide what effect you want to achieve, whether it's really wispy water that almost looks like, like smooth white ribbons, or if you want to include a bit of texture visible within the water or on the rocks. You can choose between up to seven ND stops to adjust the outcome. And because it's possible to see the impact each setting is having as you make that change live on the screen or through the viewfinder, it's nice and easy to play around and see what works best for the landscape and light conditions you're working with. When photographing wildlife or macro shots in autumn, the colorful leaves provide an opportunity to compose your image with pops of color. To do this, you can use a wide aperture and get nice and close to the foliage so it blurs to produce a frame. Then it's just a matter of moving around until the subject you're photographing is placed where you want it within that frame. If you're heading out to photograph autumn leaves this season, I'd suggest challenging yourself to look around, peek between the branches and try to use the available textures and tones to your advantage. Try not to stand back and just take a shot from afar. Get up close to those leaves, get amongst the landscape, lay on the ground amongst the crinkly leafy carpets and zoom through the trees to see what creative results might be possible. 